Good morning, I'm Faye Thompson. This morning we're going to do corn pudding, and I hope you like it. There's a lot of different ways you can make uh, corn pudding, and I know a lot of them have the Jiffy cornmeal mix, but I don't like that as well, so this is one without that. So we'll put it together and hope you try it too, because I liked it. And then it's real easy to put together too, it's not much trouble. First of all, we're going to spray a 9 by 13 casserole. The first thing we're going to put in is our corn. We got uh, cream style corn, one can of that. Now, this is a can of whole kernel corn. I probably bought whatever was cheapest at the store. Green pepper, we have chopped that up. This is one green bell pepper. Use my little kitchen tool for that. It's a wonderful little tool. We got an onion, one large onion chopped up. We got a small jar of uh, pimentos. It's already chopped up. We have a fourth of a cup of butter that we melted in the microwave. We got one and a fourth teaspoon of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of paprika. One egg. I'm just going to put that in there and we'll beat it up with the rest of it. A two thirds cup of whole milk. Eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now you can adjust that red pepper any way you want. If it's a little hot or if it's not hot enough, you can add a little to it. We have one cup of cheddar cheese and this is a sharp cheddar cheese. And we're going to have pepper and salt to taste. So we'll just guess it to us. That salt. This is pepper. We're going to put all of this in this casserole. Yeah, this makes a pretty dish. Look at all the pretty colors in it. The greens and the yellows and the red. And it's real good too. I think you'll like it. One cup of crushed crackers. These are just plain premium soda crackers. You know what, I'll tell you something else. I think it'd be great on this. I never have tried it, but you know, if you cook a long time like I have, <laughs> you can almost look at a recipe and tell what's in it if you're gonna like it or not. <laughs> I know that may seem strange to people that don't cook very much, but I think if you take those French fried onions and put over the top of that, I think that would be good. Okay, we're ready to put our uh, corn pudding in the oven. It's in a 350 degree oven, and we're going to cook it for about 45, 50 minutes. Now we have finished our corn pudding, and I, I went through several recipes before I found this one that I really like, and my family likes it too. So I hope you try this, and I hope you like it as much as we do, and thank you for watching.